In this video, I'm going to demo to you the Voyager admin package for Laravel. It's pretty easy to use and it's got a lot of really cool features. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out the demo. So in front of us, we have the login screen. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with the default credentials, which is just admin at admin.com and then password as password. And once I've logged in, I'm here at the main dashboard and I can see the users, posts, and pages that I have in my app. So then I can also go over here to the left and I can visit the various sections of the admin. So I can click on roles and these are all the roles that any particular user can have. So I can click here to add a new role, to view, edit, or delete the role. And I can also go over here to users and I can do the same. I can view all the users for my Laravel app. I can then also add a new user, view, edit, or delete. And then we also have a full built-in media manager. So I can go into each of these sections. So I can go into my posts and then I can see all the different images that we have here. I can then go up one directory. I could even rename a file. So say if I wanted to click on this one and rename this just to image one and then go ahead and rename this. And then we now have a new image named right here. We can click here to view that image and where it is stored at. So then we could also upload a new file if we would like to. We can then delete files and move them to a different folder or even add a new folder. And then moving on, we also have posts. So these are all the posts that are in my app. And currently you can have posts, you can have pages, you can actually remove these data types as well. So as I go here to pages, these are all just considered a data type and same with the categories. And where the real magic happens is inside of the database. So I can actually add, edit, or delete any tables from my database right here in the admin section. And then what I can also do is I can create a bread for that data type. So the bread stands for browse, read, edit, add, and delete. So it essentially creates these CRUD operations and CRUD views or bread views and bread operations. So let's say that I go ahead and go into my pages. So we can see all the tables that have been bread associated with them. So then I can click on edit bread. And I can see all the different rows that are in this database table. And I can then specify if I want this to be an image, a file, a checkbox, a password, rich text box, text area, or text box. And then we also have additional options over here on the right. So let me go ahead and modify the pages bread. First, I want to go in and click on edit. And I want to show you that the excerpt right now is just a plain text area. But say that maybe we wanted this to be a rich text box similar to the body. Well, then I could go into the tools and I can go to database and then I can edit the bread for the page. So if we scroll down, we can see that the excerpt is a text area, but maybe we want this to be a rich text box. Let's go ahead and scroll down and click on submit. And now if we go back into the pages and I want to go ahead and edit this page. And you can see now that the excerpt is a rich text box. So we could add images if we wanted to, we could add YouTube videos, we could view the source code and do anything else that we normally would be able to with a rich text editor. And if we go down here also in the tools, we also have a menu builder and we can use the menu builder to build out menus for the front end of our app. And we actually have the admin menu, which is built right here. So we could go into the builder and you can see that we have all of the menu items that we actually have over here on the left. So we are using the menu builder to essentially build the admin menu as well. But you could also create a new menu for the front end of your site. Maybe you want a menu for your header, maybe your footer. What you can do is just go into menus and you can go to add new. And then maybe we want to name this main menu. And then I click on submit. And now we can go here and go to the builder and say new menu item. Maybe we just want this to be the home page. And this is an optional class if you want to. You can put in a icon. So let's say that maybe we just want home. So we have Voyager home and I can go ahead and just paste that in there. And then we can select a color and this is optional as well. So let me say that I click on add new item. And now we have this new menu. We can add a bunch more menu items. And then when we want to display it on the front end of our site, we can simply echo menu display and then we can say display main menu. And that will display the menu on the front end of our site. And finally, we have a settings down here where we can add things like logos, site title, site description, 
And it's very easy to use. You can simply print this out or echo this out in PHP and it will spit out the value of that setting that you specify. So that is the basics of the Voyager admin dashboard. I will be having a lot more detailed videos showing you all the different stuff that you can do with Voyager and building it into your Laravel app.